Hello dear students and welcome to this new lesson in the series of English lessons on the Anwar Wasat Live TV channel. Welcome back. Dear students, if you look at yourselves when you were young, you will find that you could do things that you can't do now. And also you will find that you couldn't do things that you can do today. So our lesson today is expressing abilities. Expressing abilities. Now to start our lesson, let's read this story about our friend Susan. Let's read the story together. Susan went into the garden. Suddenly, the door banged shut, leaving Susan outside. Her brother Jack was inside. Susan thought that Jack could open the door. But he couldn't. He stood on a chair, but still didn't manage to open it. But he managed to find the key in his mother's bag. He passed the key to Susan, and she was finally able to open the door. Now, dear students, let's read this story again in order to answer some questions. Susan went into the garden. Suddenly, the door banged shut, leaving Susan outside. Her brother Jack was inside. Susan thought that Jack could open the door, but he couldn't. He stood on a chair, but still didn't manage to open it. But he managed to find the key in his mother's bag. He passed the key to Susan, and she was finally able to open the door. Okay, now after we have read the story twice, let's have some questions to answer. Here, the first question we have is what did Susan think of Jack? What did Susan think of Jack? Let's get back to the paragraph in order to answer this question. In the paragraph we have Susan thought that Jack could open the door but he couldn't. Again, Susan thought that Jack could open the door but he couldn't. So the answer to this question what did Susan think of Jack is she thought that Jack could open the door. Again, she thought that Jack could open the door. Let's move to the second question. Was Jack able to open the door? Was Jack able to open the door? Or we can have the question on another form like Could Jack open the door? Could Jack open the door? Or was he able to open the door? Let's look at the paragraph. In the story we have, Susan thought that Jack could open the door, but he couldn't. Susan thought that Jack could open the door, but he couldn't. So here, the answer to this question, was Jack able to open the door is, no, he wasn't able to open it. No, he wasn't able to open it. Let's have the second form of the question. Could Jack open the door? Could Jack open the door? Can you answer the question? Wonderful, thank you very much. Here the answer is, no, he couldn't open it. No, he couldn't open it. Let's have the next question. Did Jack manage to open the door? Did Jack manage to open the door? In the story, he stood on a chair, but still didn't manage to open it. But he managed to find the key in his mother's bag. Again, he stood on a chair, but still didn't manage to open it. But he managed to find the key in his mother's bag. So, let's go to look at the answer of that question. Did Jack manage to open the door? The answer is, he didn't manage to open it. He didn't manage to open it. Let's go on. The last question. Was Susan able to open the door at the end? Again. Was Susan able to open the door at the end? Was she able to open the door? Let's look at the paragraph. In the story we have, 
He passed the key to Susan and she was finally able to open the door. Again. He passed the key to Susan and she was finally able to open the door. Let's look at the answer here. The question, was Susan able to open the door at the end? And the answer is, yes, she was. She was able to open it. Yes, she was. She was able to open it. Now, dear students, let's have a closer look on some sentences. The first sentence, Susan thought that Jack could open the door, but he couldn't. Susan thought that Jack could open the door, but he couldn't. The next sentence. Jack didn't manage to open the door. Jack didn't manage to open the door. Here in the picture, the door is still closed. The next one. Jack managed to find the key. Jack managed to find the key. He was able to find the key. Susan was finally able to open the door. Susan was finally able to open the door. Susan managed to open the door at the end. She was able to open the door. All right, dear students, from the four sentences we have read, we can conclude that we used four different structures. We used managed to, couldn't, could, and able to. Again, managed to, couldn't, could, and able to. If you are interested in learning about these four structures, be with us after this short break. Let's have the short break, then we continue after it. Welcome back. Now, dear students, the first thing we are going to handle is the use of could and couldn't. Here, in this part, we are talking about could and couldn't. Let's go on. Let's read this sentence. I couldn't read or write until I was six. However, I could play computer games. Again, I couldn't read or write until I was six. However, I could play computer games. Let's have the second sentence. Sarah couldn't understand all the text, but she could answer all questions. Again, Sarah couldn't understand all the text, but she could answer all questions. Now, dear students, could you do things in the past that you can't do today? Or on the other hand, can you do things today that you couldn't do in the past? Wonderful. Think of those things. Now, we can go and conclude the use of could and couldn't. Let's move together. We use could or couldn't to describe general ability or possibility in the past. Here, why do we use could and couldn't? Again, we use could or couldn't to describe general ability or possibility in the past. Let's look at the positive form of could. Omar could swim well at the age of seven. Omar could swim well at the age of seven. Of course, dear students, this sentence is in the positive form. It is in the affirmative form. Let's read it together. Omar could swim well at the age of seven. So here, dear students, the structure of the positive form of could is could plus the base form. Could plus the base form of the verb. Again, the general structure of could is could plus the base form of the verb. What about the negative form? All right, let's move to learn about the negative form. Omar couldn't run fast at the age of seven. Omar couldn't run fast at the age of seven. Look, dear students, here Omar couldn't. Couldn't run fast at the age of seven. This is the negative form of the use of could. Here, Omar couldn't. So the structure of could in the negative form is couldn't plus the base form of the verb, which is could plus not plus the base form of the verb. Look, dear students, after could or couldn't, we use verb one. We use the base form of the verb. What about the question using could?
Can you form a question by using code or codent? Well done. Now, let's learn about how to form questions by using code or codent. Let's look at this. Code or codent, Omar ran fast at the age of seven. Code or codent, Omar ran fast at the age of seven. Is this a question or a sentence? Of course, this is a question. What does this question start with? Of course, the question starts with could or couldn't plus the subject plus the base form of the verb. So this is the question form of using could and couldn't. Let's look again. The structure of could and couldn't in the question is just like this. Could or couldn't plus the subject plus the base verb or the base form of the verb. And eventually we have the question mark. Again, we start the question with could or couldn't plus the subject plus the base form of the verb. Now, at the end of this part, let me ask you some questions. Could you swim at the age of seven? Could you read or write at the age of seven? Try to answer these two questions. Now, dear students, after we have talked about the use of could and couldn't, and the positive, negative, and the question forms of could and couldn't, let's move to talk about the structure of was or wasn't, were or weren't able to. Was able to, wasn't able to, were able to, and weren't able to. Let's go ahead. Let's first read this sentence. After my father broke his leg, he wasn't able to drive for two months. But at least he was able to walk. Let's read it again. After my father broke his leg, he wasn't able to drive for two months. But at least he was able to walk. After my father broke his leg, he wasn't able to drive, but he was able to walk. Let's go ahead. We were able to defeat the other team. However, we weren't able to win the cup. Again. We were able to defeat the other team. However, we weren't able to win the cup. We were able to do something and we weren't able to do something else. Let's go ahead to learn about the use of was able to, wasn't able to, were able to, and weren't able to. Here, we use was or wasn't able to, were or weren't able to, for, number one, for something that happened on a particular occasion in the past. We use was able to, wasn't able to, were able to, weren't able to, for something that happened in a particular occasion in the past. For example, I say, after the accident, after the accident, Ahmed was able to walk again. After the accident, Ahmed was able to walk again. Let's look at the second use of able to. Here, we use it for showing that someone was or wasn't in a position to do something. For showing that Someone was or wasn't in a position to do something. Let's go ahead. Let's read this sentence. Finally, Omar was able to pass the English test. Again, finally, Omar was able to pass the English test. This is the residence, the positive form or the affirmative form of able to. Again, Omar was able to pass the English test. Here we have was, because we have the singular subject, Omar, able to, and after to we use the base form of the verb. Now let's look at another question of able to. Here. His friends were able to pass it too. His friends were able to pass it too. So dear students, as you notice, we have Omar was able to, but his friends were able to. So we can conclude that with singular subjects like Omar, he, she, it, or any other singular noun, we use was able to plus the base form. And with the plural subjects like Omar's friends, or they, you, we, we use were plus able to plus the base form of the verb. Let's have a closer look on the structure of able to. Here, we use was able to, or were able to, plus the base form of the verb. Was able to, or were able to, plus the base form of the verb. 
This is the positive form of able to. What about the negative form of able to? Let's go together and look at the negative form. Omar wasn't able to use his mobile during the class. Omar wasn't able to use his mobile during the class. What about Omar's friends? Here. His friends weren't able to use their phones too. His friends weren't able to use their phones too. Here, dear students, we have wasn't and weren't. And this is, of course, the negative form of able to. Let's look at the structure of able to in the negative form. We have wasn't able to or weren't able to plus the base form. Here, his friends weren't able to use. We have the base form of the verb. Let's go ahead to learn about the question form of able to. Was or wasn't Omar able to use his phone during the class? Was Omar able to use his phone during the class? We use was because we talk about or we ask about Omar. Was or wasn't Omar able to use his phone during the class? What if we'd like to ask about Omar's friends? Let's look together. Where or weren't his friends able to use their phones during their class? Where his friends able to use their phones during their class? Here, because we ask about Omar's friends, we started our question with where or weren't, because the subject is a plural. So, let's look at the structure of the question by using able to. Here we start our question with was or wasn't, where or weren't, plus the subject, plus able to, plus the base verb. Again, we start the question with was or wasn't, where or weren't, plus the subject, plus able to, plus the base verb, and then we end up with a question mark. Now, dear students, let's have this short break, then we continue our lesson after it. Be with us. Welcome back. Dear students, in this part, we are going to talk about managed to. Managed to. Let's go ahead. Let's read this sentence together. Last night, I managed to stay awake until midnight. However, I didn't manage to do all my homework. Again. Last night, I managed to stay awake until midnight. However, I didn't manage to do all my homework. I managed to do something and I didn't manage to do something else. I managed to stay awake and I didn't manage to do all my homework. Let's read the second sentence. I didn't manage to read the book I borrowed from Hani, but I managed to keep it for two more days. Again, I didn't manage to read the book but I managed to keep it for two more days. Let's go ahead. Here, dear students, we use manage to, we use manage to for, number one, for something that happened on a particular occasion in the past. Something that happened in a particular occasion in the past. Number two, for showing that someone was or wasn't in a position to do something. The use of manage to it's closely similar to the use of able to. Let's go ahead. Here, despite the high waves, John managed to swim in the sea. This is, of course, the positive form. Despite the high waves, John managed to swim in the sea. Look, dear students, the structure is managed to swim. So here, our structure is managed to plus the base form. Managed to plus the base form. The negative one. John's friends didn't manage to swim in the sea. John's friends didn't manage to swim in the sea. This is the negative form. Didn't manage to swim in the sea. So in the negative form, we have the structure like this. Didn't manage to plus the base form. Didn't manage to plus the base form. So dear students, in the positive form, we use managed to. Managed to plus the base form. In the negative form, we have didn't manage to 
plus also the base form. What about the question form? In the question form we have, did the thief manage to run away? Did the thief manage to run away? This is the question form. So in the question form, we start the question with did or didn't, plus the subject, plus managed to, plus the base verb. Here, dear students, after we start our question with did or didn't, the verb manage to should be in the base form. Didn't manage to, plus the base form of the sentence. Now, dear students, let's revise and conclude what we have talked about. Here we have affirmative forms. Affirmative forms. He could swim in the sea. He could swim in the sea. He was able to swim in the sea. He was able to swim in the sea. They were able to swim in the sea. They were able to swim in the sea. He managed to swim in the sea. He managed to swim in the sea. What about the negative forms? In the negative forms we have he couldn't swim in the sea. He couldn't swim in the sea. He wasn't able to swim in the sea. He wasn't able to swim in the sea. In the plural form, they weren't able to swim in the sea. They weren't able to swim in the sea. What about manage to? He didn't manage to swim in the sea. He didn't manage to swim in the sea. So as you see, dear students, after all these structures, we use the base form of the verb. Let's look at the question forms. In the question forms, could he swim in the sea? Could he swim in the sea? Was he able to swim in the sea? Was he able to swim in the sea? Were they able to swim in the sea? Were they able to swim in the sea? And finally, did he manage to swim in the sea? Did he manage to swim in the sea? Now, dear students, it's time to practice what we have talked about. Let's practice together. The first exercise we have here is make sentences using could, was able to, and managed to. Again, make sentences using could, was able to, and managed to. My father read at the age of five. My father read at the age of five. Let's use could, able to, and managed to to form sentences. In the first sentence, my father could read at the age of five. He could read. Let's use able to. My father was able to read at the age of five. Let's use managed to. My father managed to read at the age of five. Let's have the second sentence. They have lunch before going to the sea. They have lunch before going to the sea. Let's use could. They could have lunch before going to the sea. They could have lunch before going to the sea. Use able to. Can you use it? Great, wonderful. Here, they were able to have lunch before going to the sea. They were able to have lunch before going to the sea. What about managed? They managed to have lunch before going to the sea. Let's have the last sentence. I go to school until I was six. I go to school until I was six. Can you use could? Thank you very much. Here, I couldn't go to school until I was six. I couldn't go to school until I was six. This is a negative form. I wasn't able to go to school until I was six. I wasn't able to go to school until I was six. I didn't manage to go to school until I was six. I didn't manage to go to school until I was six. Now, dear students, let's have another exercise to practice what we have talked about. Choose the correct answer from the brackets. Choose the correct answer from the brackets. Number one, I couldn't or didn't manage go to the concert because I didn't have a ticket. Look here, with the verb is go. 
I couldn't or I didn't manage. Of course, the structure of didn't manage should be followed by two. I didn't manage two. Do we have two here? Of course not. So the correct answer is, thank you very much. I couldn't go to the concert because I didn't have a ticket. Let's have the second sentence. Didn't you, could, or didn't you manage to find what you had lost? Here we have, didn't you, didn't you could, or didn't you manage to? Thank you very much. Didn't you manage to find what you have lost? I looked all over the garden, but I couldn't or was able to find it. I looked all over the garden, but I... Wonderful, but I couldn't find it. But I couldn't find it. The next sentence. When I was young, I managed or I was able to do exactly the same things that I can do now. What do you think? Wonderful, thank you very much. I was able to. When I was young, I was able to do exactly the same things that I can do now. Now, dear students, after we have done this exercise, it's your time to practice. Now, we have a project for you. Your project, dear students, is to ask and tell. Ask and tell. Now, let's look at your project. In the project we have, ask your father or mother about the things that he or she couldn't do in the past and they can do them now. Write them down. Again, ask your father or mother about the things they couldn't do in the past and they can do them now. Write those things down. Let's have another project. Write about some situations where you were or weren't able to do a certain thing. Again, write about some situations where you were or weren't able to do a certain thing. Now, dear students, thank you very much for watching us in this lesson. I hope the lesson was interesting and beneficial at the same time. Until I see you next time, have a good day and goodbye.